What is up guys, so today I want to show you guys uh, an interesting glitch, or yeah I guess it's just one glitch, but it's three different ways to implement it, to get infinite XP, infinite caps, and infinite resources. So first I'm going to show it to you on individual resources, so like say you want to just get a ton of rubber because of this stuff. That's a pain to get rubber and ceramic. For whatever reason, those are the hardest resources I have for finding. But, um, yeah, so say so you want that. First, you want to get a stack of rubber or things that have rubber in them, whatever. Um, you're going to be scrapping it, so it's going to break down into rubber in the end. So you might as well just get a stack of rubber. Here I have uh, 3,264, uh, mostly because of this glitch. I started off with 34, now I'm at that. So, what you're gonna wanna do is go from, on PlayStation, go from square X circle, and Xbox go from X A uh, B. So just do it quickly. That wasn't like that. Okay, so you should hear it scrap, and it should still say store rubber and workshop. So you're gonna do that, come here. As you can see, there's now 6,000. You're gonna take it out, ignore that steel, and wood that's from doing the other things so now it's in two stacks all you have to do is just scrap both of them and then go back take it out and then drop it and it saves one stack again and then whoops that didn't work this is the easiest one to do it with because you don't have to reload saves if you mess up you just take it out of the workshop and then just try again so it's best to practice with this with just individual resources but um yeah, so there's 13,000. Uh, it's gonna like make my game just... Yeah. Okay, so. Now, I'm gonna hit quick save so I don't mess up or whatever. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because I've gotten a ton of resources from this already. So, next what you're gonna do is... We'll do infinite caps first. Or no, we'll continue with infinite resources. So this is um, a way to get a ton of infinite resources of a specific resource. So as you can see, if you scrap a robot workbench, you get gears, screws, plastic, aluminum, aluminum, uh, fiberglass, or nuclear material. So what you're gonna do is literally the same exact thing. Didn't work. Okay, so you heard it scrap, it disappeared, and I can still store it. So now we're gonna go over here. As you can see, I, oh, okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, so there's one. Got scrapped. Do it. There's still one. Okay, and at the top, you see how it, can, it says I can make two. Oh. Okay, that failed. Okay, so right now it says I can make one. Okay. All right. As you can see, this is why you should uh, practice with the resources because you can easily mess up like that repeatedly. Okay. So store. Yes. Okay. That's why you re that's why I had to save before. So uh hold on. And I'll do that. Attempt number three, we're gonna try this again. You know what? What uh Oh, here, that's an easier way to see it. Alright, so these are the resources I have in here. So we're gonna scrap and store this. Oh. I'm gonna place it. And as you can see, we got much more res much, bleh, much more resources. That was loud. Um, but yeah. So this is a a quick way to get specific resources that you need. Um, and we'll see if we can actually do this one more time. Nope, we failed because I'm a failure in life. But whatever. Um, I'll reload the save anyway, so I don't care about those resources. But the last one to get infinite caps is this right here. You just build a store, whichever store. The more expensive, the better, because you'll get half the caps back. So you're going to do the same exact thing. Go from square X circle or X A B. And no. Okay, that failed.
I mean, you just need to keep. Okay. Let's start with these stores over here real quick. No. No. Okay. I see how it is. Okay. That one was stored. So at least that one wasn't destroyed. Um. Let's just do this with cheaper ones. So we'll get 250 caps each time we do it here. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. So we do that. And then there we go. As you can see. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Okay. Kind of messed up there. Should have taken the caps out before. God damn it. Okay, so you can see it was scrapped, and now I can store it. So now, there's 250 caps in here. We can take that out. And I can still build a weapon stand. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, it does take some practice. I literally just found out about the store glitch today. And then I found out you can just move that onto other, apply it to other things. Now, as for the infinite XP glitch, so we're going to take a trip over here to my resources. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to look for any copper I have. So for those of you who know the statue glitch, this is literally just going to be that. But we're going to do this with copper. Or we're going to, instead of doing that shipment glitch to get the copper, we're going to do uh, uh, the thing that I just did. So I don't have any actual, oh yes I do. Jesus Christ, where did I get 5,000 copper from? Okay, either way. <clears throat> so just to show you, this works again. Because after all those mistakes... Yeah. Um, so, also this will give me more copper. Stop moving. Okay. So we store that. Let me, oh, not aluminum. Uh, yeah, this is going to get very, like, messed up in a second. Okay. Now, you could also just do that, and then... Stop moving. Jesus Christ, it's still. And then that, that way, you know, you save time. You don't have to scrap it and then go back. If you don't mind it all being in separate stacks. And you can always just scrap the stacks in the end. Okay. Oh my God, stop rolling. Stop getting in my way okay so now that we got like 20,000 yeah 22,000 we're just gonna do the statue thing where we go to decorations statues and then spam the statues The other thing is, if you start running low on copper, you could just uh, do that and uh, get some copper back. But yeah, so if you guys if you guys enjoyed this glitch, um, also one other thing, this is also. A great way for getting like certain things to other settlement. Oh, hold on. I wonder if this actually works for food too. No, I guess you can't scrap food, can you? All right. Well, it uh, that'd be helpful for like the beginning of the game if you needed food, especially for like survival mode. Um, but yeah, uh, it's also I guess it would also be helpful for like the wasteland workshop thing 
where it's hard to find like things like dog like canned dog food if you can build like a dog cage you can use canned dog food or you can keep doing that glitch and get infinite canned dog food um i guess i could also do this with these water purifiers just make infinite of these get infinite water bottles um But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a like, comment, subscribe. Um, down in the comments, leave some other things that would be great to scrap, whether it be for so you can get XP or whatever it's for. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I might do a tour of Sanctuary Hills one day just because I haven't been on this profile for a while. So, like, it looks so different. Why are the bloatflies still here? Shouldn't they despawn? So, yeah. Oh. So it's in here. Yeah, so, okay. If you guys enjoyed it, leave it a like, leave it a uh, dislike or whatever. Whatever you want to do. And, uh, I'll contemplate suicide. So, till next time. Bye.